no comfort, no rest. I'm wearing clothes from Hellfire. My chains are from Hellfire. My food is the pool. My drink is hot water. I'm in a dark place. I can't see. There's no one to talk to. No friend to complain to. No company. My bedding is Hellfire. No rest. No comfort. No breaks. Don't believe Shaitan's promise. It's far-fetched. It will never happen. Wallah, we are in danger. The Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was once sitting with his companions and then a rock hit the floor and the Sahaba Radiallahu Anhum heard a bang. So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked, Qala atadruna ma hadha? Do you know what this sound is? Qala Allahu wa Rasuluhu a'lam. Allah and his Prophet know better. Qala hadha hajarun this is a rock that was thrown in hellfire 70 years ago. It has been dropping since 70 years now. Just now it has hit the bottom of hellfire. That's how big hellfire is. Heat unbearable. Depth very deep. hadith. Your jewelry in hellfire is chains. hadith chains and steel. And the drink you will have in hellfire is hot water. وَإِن يَسْتَغِيثُ يُغَاثُ بِمَاءٍ كَالْمُهِ لِيَشْوِ الْوُجُوهِ all the feelings will stay the same. Don't think in hellfire you need no food. You only eat because you want to know. In hellfire you feel hunger, pain like you've never felt before. You get thirsty like you've never felt thirst before. But when you're hungry, your food is zaqoom. What is zaqoom? Tal'uha ka'annahu ru'usu shayateen. A tree that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created in hellfire. The roots are in the bottom of hellfire, feeding off the sewage of all the sweat and blood and burnt skin and the fruit that comes from the fruit, the zaqoom. The Prophet of Allah says in the hadith, if one drop of zaqoom was to fall on earth, it will destroy life on earth. Well, guess what? This is your food. This is the food you will eat for disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only eating, not only eat and can't finish. You will be forced to eat. You will ask for food. They will get you zakum and you will be forced to eat until you have a full stomach. Then you will feel extreme thirst. Please, water. You will be given hot water. Hamim. Boiling hot water, hellfire temperature. It will cook your face. Your face will start cooking. Your skin will start melting. Your organs will start going from this water. No comfort, no rest. The scholars say people in hellfire will start screaming out one day, two days. I'm wearing clothes from hellfire. I'm wearing clothes from hellfire. My chains are from hellfire. My food is zaqoom. My drink is hamim. And I'm in a dark place. I can't see. There's no one to talk to. No friend to complain to. No company. My bedding is hellfire. No rest. No comfort. No breaks. People will start screaming out to the guardians of hellfire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Alayha tis'ata'ashar. Hellfire has 19 guards, angels, specifically designed for hellfire. Torture. They only know torture. And the leader is Malik, Khazan al-Nar. An angel called Malik, 
the guardian, the main guardian of hellfire. Since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created him, he is unable to smile. They can't be soft. Allah described them. They are tough and rough and strong. Unable to disobey Allah. People will start squealing and screaming and begging for mercy from these gods. I want you please, for once in your life, imagine yourself in this torture. Imagine yourself in hellfire. That's how you make the heart move. That's how we realize how dangerous neglecting Deen is. Imagine yourself there. Don't, don't believe Shaitan's promise. You, it's far-fetched. It will never happen. Wallahi, we are in danger. Wallahi, no one is safe.